Welcome to Game with Fans Balnerians And right now we are going to play with the Max Full, full Magic Pen Mordekaiser build That you can see here Max Heal, Max Sustain, Max Damage It's going to be the perfect combination of items To make Morde the strongest that exists You can see the runes here, you can see the items here And you are ready to destroy them all easily For some reason our teammates uh, fighting there and I'm just uh, chilling here and farming. I guess that's going to be good. That's going to be very, very good. Don't worry. Okay, so. We do that chill. Get everything. Make sure that Irelia is going back. And she's going to use her teleport. Going to use her teleport, of course. And she's going to just have fun with doing that. She used her flash. Probably. Probably she used her flash as well. Oh, she got the red buff. We need to be careful or uh, take it. Or just steal the red buff. That can work as well. We to get that. Perfect. Hmm. I couldn't hit here with that. I was expecting more, but whatever. Normally, Irelia should play aggressive, and she's going to reach level 2 right now. And we are going to be okay, but we need... We need to get our level 3. We need our W, guys. We need our W in order for us to have the seal. And overpower her easily. And also, of course, she, uh, she got her uh, the red buff. Oh my god, it's going to be a little harder. A little harder, but we are good. She's not going to engage without... She's not going to engage without... Uh, her passive, normally. But she's going to do that little bit. Oh, we need to kill her there, but whatever. This fight here very soon. They need to wait for her for her passive and then go in. So now we're going to just get this, get everything, and have fun. Who is it down there? Kha'Zix, right? Hmm. I don't know where Kha'Zix is, so we need to just be a little careful. I'm going to use this here. To be honest, the max heal build that we're going to play is going to be something incredibly good. Let's avoid fighting here. And uh, make her lose her uh, red buff. And right now we are going to be stronger. Over here we are always going to be stronger. The only way, the only reason this guy is a little more alive than the rest is because she got the first blood shot. She, she got some uh, gold. I'm going to get that. One more. Use this. I'm okay, I'm okay, don't worry. Don't worry, my friend. I'm perfectly okay right now. I'm going to just focus on farming and destroy her either way. Because she used her teleport to come here. So that means that this is going to be free. And it's going to be very, very worth for us. So over here we are going to focus on having the max kill possible. We're hitting like crazy with Nasser Dude. And uh, combining the damage and sustain that we are going to have together with the passive. I think it's going to be something crazy. So first item is going to be Rift Maker to have the extra healing, the extra sustain, the extra true damage, the extra everything. And then we're going to just play with something else. I'm going to run my life. I'm not going to bother to fight here. She got her item right now, so it's going to be a little suicide for me to stay here, but I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here, because why not? Why not, guys? Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Except this. If I had my A, probably I could kill her. Okay, let's go back right now. Let's go back right now. She's waiting inside this bush. Probably, or she went back, I don't know. For now, we are going to go back, get our Dorans, get this. Get one pot. Hmm. Get one pot, yeah, and go to blame. You are going to have healing from the Dorans ring as well. So, we got our three rings. The three rings is going to give you enough ability power, enough HP to overpower all. And then we are going to just go and grab the Rift Maker, actually the first item here, to have... To have some more sustain, some more damage, and be unstoppable. The moment you are going to get the three rings together with this, you will be able to overpower all. I'm playing with overheal, because with the healing that we got, 
We are going to have very, a very big amount of sealed as well. Overall, it's going to be something interesting because I never played uh, Morde with uh, with sealed, with the uh, overheal actually. So I think it's going to be very interesting. Let's give this. Option full boosting. Conqueror Revenant Hunter is going to give you enough healing. Rift Maker is going to give you enough healing. Uh, what else we are going to play with heal? Mm, nothing. If we could go for the elixir, the elixir of wrath could be great, but we can't. I'm going to just chill. I got my ultimate, so we don't mind for the jungler to come here. We actually want the jungler to come here and probably die. And because of your you will also have magic penetration. Percent magic pen, insane stuff that we are going to use. So for now, we need to get this. You are going to just kill me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you are going to do. Sorry, friends. The only reason you are uh, you were alive earlier is because you managed to get a kill. Nothing more. Nothing more, nothing less. So we're going to do here. No, actually, she got here a teleport. I think she got here a teleport right now. Not sure. I'm going to get this. One. I'm going to get this. So overall, we got the second. This. We managed to get the assist. That's what we needed. Need the assist for the Revan Thunder. Nothing more. So that doesn't matter what the Relay is doing. Overall, she's not going to fight you guys. Without her passive, Irelia is always going to be just a foot. Without her passive, she won't be able to do damage. So normally, all Irelia mains will never engage without having at least three stacks for, uh, from her passive. So if you go... Actually, I'm going to sell this. Go for the refill a bit. Just in case that we are going to have this for more than uh, four uses. It's going to be very good. Otherwise, we are going to just sell this. So, if you go here, click on Irelia, you're going to see this, this here. That means that she got her full stack passive right now. So, will having the full stacks, she will always play aggressive. If she doesn't have it, and she got, for example, one or zero, then she's going to play safe and she will never, but never engage, except if she's the worst kind of player that exists. Or something like that, I guess. I don't know what else I should say about that, but that's what that's going to be the way. Okay, we're going to have the heal. Take this out. Take the overheal. Oh, that's, that's already a big seal. That's going to be a already big seal. Then how much? 155. Not bad, right? We're going to use this seal to overpower this guy. So it's going to be something very good. Okay, let's. I got my ultimate, so I'm not afraid to get gun. We are actually one for these guys to gun me. Because we are going to just destroy them. This. Not enough for the full stacks from the Conqueror. But remember that Conqueror is also going to give you... It's also going to give you bonus ability power. So even if you got, for example, 5 stacks, 4 stacks for your Conqueror, that means that you're going to have some ability power more. So even if you can't stack it, you are going to still use some of it. Even if you are not going to fully stack it, you are going to use some of it. Because if you can't stack it at all, then you are not going to use anything. Yeah, that. Here, she's going for this, so... Just... We need to predict that a little better. Normally, she should play a little more aggressive, because we are under her tower, but... Okay, the jungler is not around, that's why she's not playing aggressive at all. She's afraid. So, she's going to wait for the jungle right now, probably. I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm okay. I'm okay, doesn't matter. Even if Kha'Zix come here, we're going to still destroy here. By the way, because of the runes, we are going to have a huge amount of attack speed as well. And will stealing the stats from the enemy team from the enemy champion with your R, you're going to have even more attack speed. So imagine you hit like crazy to steal the attack speed from Kate, for example. Or Irelia, that she's, she's going for full land. For full... Uh, Good. 
this. After killing here, I think really it's a little tilt. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a little tilt in the game. Very interesting. Okay, she's not going to fight me probably, except if he's bad enough. To think that he's powerful, so we're gonna just do it. I'm gonna just do this and wait. No rhythm to kill it, otherwise, easy. Could be easy, but okay. If I got my R, I could probably just go in under tower, just like I did before, and destroy this guy. But we need to go back and get our Rift Maker, and this is going to be the end of the story. Right now, even, even if all five comes here, you're going to still destroy them. What is important to know? Your ring is going to stack with the magic penetration from the item as well, from the bonus magic pen for each legendary item, plus the magic pen from your passive. So in full late game, you will have you will have an amount of magic pen that is going to be 63%, if I remember right, over 60% over, over 60% magic penetration, and you are going to do an insanely big amount of true damage around you. But this is a more full. Full attack speed build as well, because we are going to have Nash or Tooth, we are going to have the attack speed runes. So over here we are going to just hit these guys like crazy. He went and stole the red buff just for me. I don't care, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. We need the guns, I told you that. Take it out, take the overheal. We are not receiving damage because of that. We are not receiving damage because of that, and that's actually something very good. Let's just get this. We're gonna just use this. Very good, guys. Very good. Very good, very good. Overall, you did great. You did great! If I got my Ignite, probably I could kill one, but whatever. We're not going back, I'm going to stay here. One against two, but that's what's going on in this game. Normally, she should be aggressive. Oh. <laughs> Wrong prediction. Wrong prediction there. First tower, still works. We didn't lose anything. We are just chilling here and having fun. So that's going to be more than enough. What I really love is that we are going to have 3 HP per last hit with the Doran Ring. It's the same that we can stack these three together. We are not going to stack the bonus effects, the HP, the mana, we are not going to do that. But we are going to have everything else and that's what's enough. It's going to be more than enough. Fuck. Very good, but you need to focus on others as well. It's not going to be fair for my little Irelia, and I want to take the build. I'm going to get this. Continue here. Go back. No, I'm going to just continue. I'm going to just continue here, I guess. Alright. I mean, it's not working bot lane for them. Okay. Let's get this. A lot of attack speed. It's something incredibly good that I like. But we are going to have attack speed, we are going to have the overheal for better sustain. A very, very powerful build. A very powerful build. That's the only thing that I have to say. And I need to get my Nasser too. But I first need to kill here. No worries, friend. Got my flash. I got my. I don't really want to go for uh, Kha'Zix because he got his uh, ultimate and E. I'm going for him. I'm going to just go back. He's unlucky. He used his C, but he couldn't go over the wall there. He can't go over the wall because the ultimate was here. No, he couldn't. I'm going to sell this. And right now we are going for Nasser Tooth. The attack speed that we got right now is going to be a little broken. A little bit. So you are going to have bonus ability power, 100 ability power. The highest ability power that you can get with this amount of uh, gold. 50% attack speed 
62 damage on hit. You also got some uh, more damage on hit from the passive. The passive got two effects. It's going to be actually three effects. It's going to be the damage per hit, the damage around you, and of course the movement speed bonus. So overall, it's going to be something very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. In stack, ready. No words here. Take the attack speed. Oh my god. Take the attack speed. That's crazy. I want to test this. I want to test this on someone because this is going to be something broken. I told you. The combination of these two will make you to get with the rings, of course. And your, uh, and your runes is going to make you a total monster. Oh, come on. I wanted to save her. Ah, oh, that was so damn close. I wanted to save her there. But we couldn't save her. I even flashed for that. We need some more time for this. Oh my god, okay. Check the attack speed, check the movement speed that you got with your passive. Overall, check everything. Need to go back. Need to go back and get our item. So the third item that I'm thinking is going to be Demonic Embrace. You can go for Void Staff. Because overall Void Staff is going to be great. I'm not going to play... You can go for the attack speed boost, to be honest, but... The penetration boost is going to be better, because you are doing a huge amount of uh, up damage, okay? You are going to have a huge amount of percent HP damage, percent magic penetration, and percent HP damage on top of that. So, to go for some flat magic pen is going to actually help you do even more, close to, not only true damage, but close to bonus damage as well. But I think we win a little bit. A little bit, friend. That's a little bit. That with your passive, you're going to burn them all to death. And because of your rhythm, you're going to steal everything and do an insanely big amount of damage with your basic attack as well. Good friend. Take out, take out. Take, take the attack speed. And because of the overkill, they are not going to even do damage here. They are not even going to do damage here. And then we need to heal. We got Omnivamp. So we got everything. We did get this. Take the healing. From its attack. Take the healing. Take the healing here. 62. 62 with its basic attack. 62 HP. And uh, we only got four of the five stacks for the Revenge Hunter. We don't have the full stats. Here, this here, the ring. What's that, by the way? Whatever. Whatever, whatever. So, should we go for the uh, next item? We go for Void Stuff. It's a very offensive item here, so we need some sustain. But I'm going for Void Stuff. I'm going for Void Stuff because we are going to have. Out. We are going to have the ability to get the part item of Void. So even with just the part item, you are going to have 31% magic penetration. 31. Remember that in uh, with full item, with a full Void sub, you are going to have 40%. And you got 31% with one item. One item. With uh, just the part item. That's the craziest part. So you are going to do... To do close to true only or even bonus damage just like that. Thunder. Got my ultimates. They're gonna be alright. Don't worry. I just need my aim. Just need my aim and we are going to be I'm a little bit. 
Who's that I missed? We're going to see what do, what we are going to do. Okay, we we'll die. We we'll die as well. Doesn't matter. Oh my! Wait, wait! I need to remember not exactly mortal murder here. It's going to be the max kill, but it's not going to be any mortal build. Here. Okay, we got our voice up. Let me let me show you the penetration that you're gonna have with one item. One item. With the complete item. Check this out. 54%. 54% because this item is also going to give you 5% more. 5% bonus magic pen from its from its item. A legendary item. So we are going to have 1854 Nasser tools to hit like crazy. Your passive to just melt them all. To be honest, we are not exactly using our conquer that much, but it's going to be a huge late game uh, potential uh, rune with a lot of potential rune that we are going to use to destroy them. So don't be afraid. You're going to be right. So this one is going to just. How was that? My God! <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds! My bad. my bad, my bad, my bad. Five seconds there. League of Flashes. Ah, yeah, that was very bad. That was very bad, guys. I can't believe this. That I couldn't, uh, I couldn't just flash over to have five seconds for my R. You just need to use your R first to kill the tankiest or any target, and then kill the rest. Because while using your R and killing the target, you are going to steal 10% of their stats. So imagine 10%. It's speed, attack, speed, damage, ability, power, everything, everything that you need. Also, if we had this a little sooner, I could have this huge shield, almost 300 shield like that. So the next item is going to be, as you can see here, is going to be Demonic Embrace and also, I'm thinking about going... Uh, you can go for Spirit Visage, actually Spirit Visage is going to be great. Especially since Spirit Visage right now is going to give you the shield effect as well, that's going to be crazy. Go and kill dead right now. We need to be careful. I underestimate them a little bit. I have to say, it's my fault. I just got up the shield. Wait a little bit. Oh my! I didn't use it there. Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> My fault, my fault. Once again, a beggar does press R, nothing more. Oh, she managed to give me that already. Go back, go back. Give me time to test the full all-in. Don't worry, don't worry. It was my fault, but we're going to test this. Ah, oh, what to say? That was unexpected. That was unexpected. How much damage I took from this? 766 and I used my ultimate, I wanted to use my ultimate on uh, someone but I couldn't decide between um, between Irelia and of course between um, Kate and because of that I died from this guy that's how Vegar works guys if he uses his R will, will uh, being low HP you are going to die and we don't have enough uh, magic resist so it's only normal don't worry don't worry mistake happens Second time that I am directing the game. Of course, we can easily just go split push and destroy all. But right now, I'm going all in. Going all in here. And this time, I'm not going to save them. The good thing is that I didn't use my flash. I'm going to kill them. God 
up this again. From what I took this amount of damage? From Vegar, for real. I took this amount of damage from something, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure what. Let me go and kill this irrelevant. Let's kill her! No, it was like So we managed to see the three items. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you ignore the fact that I just went against Vegar and died <laughs> for no reason at all, you're going to be unkillable. So yeah, yeah, you need to be careful and never underestimate the damage from R, from Vegar and Garen. These two can literally kill you and you need to be to be, be very very careful with that. Of course, because of the attack speed from Nasser Tooth, it was that. Crazy. That's crazy what you can do. I'm not sure if we did the most damage. Oh, we did the most damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Most damage dealt, second damage taken. We died three times or two. And uh, second damage dodge as well. So overall, two deaths. Not bad. Two deaths and we managed to do all that. We are not going to use Conqueror that much. Once again, we are not having enough time to stack it because they are dying a little too quick. But in full late game, and will not play against Brand, Vegar, Kate that is going to just guide you. It's going to be very easy. Even Kha'Zix is going to be a problem. To be honest, from the enemy team, the only one that we could uh, use our R on was Irelia. Because Kha'Zix can use C and R to, to move around and stall time and not give you enough time to use your Conqueror. Vegar can use his Kate, stun you inside your Kate, except if you are going to use it after that. Uh, Bran got some CC, but it's an option. He's ranged, but you can use it. And Kate is going to be an option to use that. But overall, because of their range, you're not going to have the time to stack it. You can go for with the Grasp version as well, but I wanted to test this. For almost 3,500 3, overheal shields. That's an crazy, a crazy amount of sustain from that alone. Let's go next. <laughs> 